Hi, Kadon. Today, this uh, thing we have here a vintage passenger uh, service controller box from uh, airliner. So they were located in the seat uh, armrest of the uh, airliner seat, and so you had one for each passenger. So this unit was made by Eco. Uh, incorporated Eco Avionics System Incorporated in Santa Ana, California, USA. Dead code uh, 1988 uh, 33, part number uh, 170569-01, serial number 2483. So we have uh, one uh, wire harness with one uh, DB9 style plug with Centronic style uh, fasteners here. So there is something special in this, about this. So we have the uh, flight attendant call button here. We have uh, reading light switch here. Uh, audio channel selector probably here. And volume control. The interesting thing is the uh, way you hook the uh, your headset. In fact, you can see there is some kind of plug here, but it is not an electrical plug. It is a pneumatic plug. It seems you add a pneumatic headsets. In fact, and the loudspeakers are built in this unit. Really a unusual setup. So I had uh, like 20 of these things. But they were all in very bad condition and I did uh, already scrap them a long time ago. I got them from uh, eBay seller uh, in the US. It was uh, very cheap, if I remember correctly, because it is mostly junk. But the way it is made inside is interesting. So if I remember correctly, you take it apart by, rem by removing two imperial screws here. does not want to come. No, Murphy's, Murphy's Law time again. Okay, and you have two metal clips to unclip. One here, and one bigger back here. If I remember, you did not take it apart in, in a long time, so I think it is the way you do it. And it will release the shell in two parts. It just flew at the other side of the room. Okay. So, we can now remove this uh, side. We have two spring uh, mounted pins for mounting the thing in the armrest. And we have one uh, metal rod here and the insides. As you can see, this is the stereo uh, loudspeaker assembly connected to the pneumatic output. So it should be fun to try uh, this if I can figure out the pinout. And in this, we just have uh, the two uh, switches and these controls are um, quite interesting indeed because they are uh, switches uh, switch, and they switch uh, resistor networks to change uh, resistor value. So I will get rid of this side cover. It will be much more easy. It's just a matter of reinstalling the ties. So, like so. Okay. So, we have two screws to undo. And if I remember correctly, one of the switches is really interesting because, yes, look, this one we have a network of. Uh, 
a series of uh, precision resistors of uh, different values one at the back side will just have uh, wiper contacts but here we have Allen Bradley hybrid modules so probably uh, precision laser trimmed resistors and the same kind of uh, wiper contacts so I could try to power on this uh, load speakers but they are probably very weak there is a cover maybe I can pop it here open yes so regular uh, tiny low speaker in fact and it is uh, directly connected there is some, some kind of a molded plastic assembly here and connected to each one of the uh, outputs on this thing okay so it is a nice uh, they are long gone now in, uh, air, in uh, airplanes you do not see these controllers anymore but it is a nice uh, little item to play with. Now I will try to put this back together. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.